happy every time we go anywhere. Really, we are. And, and we're now on the top of Honozan, looking out um, onto not only Izumo City, but we can see in the far distance Sanbei-san. Which is overlooking the glorious ocean. It's beautiful. I can't believe this view. Yeah, boy, we really have a lot to look forward to on this trip, I can see. N not the least of which is your important date. And uh, <laughs> your kabuki research? Yes, I'm going to find out all about Okuni, who was said to have begun kabuki, started kabuki in Japan. And, and then, of course, we'll be going down to um, Hagi as well. I wonder, I can only hope that Hagi is as nice as this city uh, appears to be. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Well, should we go down to the shrine, to Izumo Shrine, and check it out? Yeah, uh, let's offer our prayers to the deity. All right. Wow, look at the size of that rope. I have never seen anything like it. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? It's huge. Wait, like it's two ropes that have been woven together, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I yeah, think. it is. Well, wow. I guess it's what? It's made all made out of rice straw? I think so, yeah. yeah. What are these people doing? They're throwing coins up at the rope? Hey, I figured it out, Valerie. Like this is, you know, okay, it's two ropes, and it means like conjugal happiness, probably, ah. or, or two or three, or whatever it is. And I bet the people throwing those coins up there are trying to get happy marriages or a good husband, good wife. Yeah. How did you figure that out just from looking at... You read something. No, no. It's because of wishful thinking. And <laughs> I'm going to go and try to get a coin up into that rope right oh, now. Okay. Let's try it. Use your 500 yen coin. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have a 500 yen. I'm going to use a 100 okay, yen. I think, okay. I think my future wife is worth spending 100 yen on. <laughs> okay, give it a try. Okay, just watch this. See all those coins in there? Yeah, Mine's yeah. going to be right in the middle. They really stick there. Oh. Jeff, it's stuck. I did, didn't it? Yeah, it went all the way in. I can't even see it. Hey, well, ring the wedding bells, Great, huh? I can't wait to see what 100 yen brings you. <laughs> It was so much fun to see you do that. The shrine, first of all, was incredible. It was huge. Oh, yeah. The Grand Shrine of Izumo is really worthy of the name, Grand Shrine. Mm -hmm. And you weren't the only one throwing coins up at that big rope. No, a lot of people were there. They, and uh, a lot of people, I guess, were praying, as I was, for a happy marriage. Well, and you certainly were lucky. I never saw a coin go up quite so fast and stick quite so hard. <laughs> yeah, it did help me. Uh, let's hear about the nice person I met, thanks to the coin. Oh, Jeff, look, another foreigner up here in the middle of nowhere in Izumo. <laughs> yeah, a young, uh, charming one, too. Do you think she could be the one that uh, my hundred yen is for? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Let's go see if she knows more about where to go here at the shrine. Yeah, good idea. Let's talk to her. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah. We're visiting here, and uh, we wondered maybe you know more about a little bit more about the shrine than we do, which is almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a little bit more. <laughs> you live here in Izumo? Yes, I do. Oh, what are you doing here? Um, I teach English at the junior high schools in Izumo. Really? Yeah. Oh, that must be fun. It is, at times. <laughs> at times. <laughs> How long have you been here? Um, just a little over a year now. Uh-huh. Do you come to this shrine often? I've been here maybe about four times. Is it always crowded like this? Um, this isn't very crowded at all, actually. Oh, really? No, there's usually tons of people here. Really? Yeah. Are you alone? Um, I'm with some friends, but they're in a coffee shop right now. <laughs> I came to throw money in the rope. <laughs> oh, you too. <laughs> Mine didn't stay, though. <laughs> well, now that I'm here, maybe... Uh, Let me try again. Let me try again. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? My name's Roberta Sinke. Roberta Sinke. It's nice to meet you. Nice I'm Valerie. To meet, nice to meet you. I'm Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Glad to meet you. Where are you from originally? Um, Sacramento, California. Oh, oh, really? Nice. I'm from L.A. myself. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Mm. And where are you from, Valerie? Well, I'm from Wisconsin, but I've been in San Francisco ah. for quite a while. Yeah. yeah. So three Californians meeting uh -oh. here in Izumo. Oh, wow. Well. I don't know if they're ready for us. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, should we move along? Okay. okay? Great. Yeah. If, you, if you have time. Sure. Yeah. Great. 
Uh, what is this building here on the left? Oh, well, you guys picked the right month to come. This is the month where all of the gods leave Japan, the rest of Japan, and come to Izumo. Really? So they're all staying in this little apartment building here. Oh, they're staying in this apartment building now? All yes. the gods of Japan? Yes. Wow, I don't. how do they fit? I mean, it's a big building, but... <laughs> Their futons are side by side, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> how interesting. Yeah. Every year? Every year. Huh. So, if we want to worship the gods, this is the only place to come this month, This huh? month. Well, since all the gods are here right now, this would be a perfect time to uh, have my fortune uh, read. All right. Let's go get one of those little fortune tickets. Omikuji is one so 30 yen. 30 yen is not a lot to pay for having your entire fortune read. Okay. Well, <laughs> depends on if the fortune is good or not. We'll see. Now, I think this is going to have to be something about my health. I need to have better health in the next years to come. All my years in Japan, I have never bought an omikuji before. Really? Isn't that funny? Oh, this that is, is the first funny. one. Yeah, I'm surprised. Really funny. I guess I kept thinking, well, I have more chances to do that and just didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Now. I can't read it. <laughs> From where do I start here? Oh, okay. Byoki. Nauru. That means it's going to get better? My health is going to get better. Oh, great. How wonderful. Oh, your wish will come true. Canal. Oh, my wish will come yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. What is this one? And, um... Oh, and it says, Ryoko Yoroshi. And this means... I'll find something that I've lost. Have you lost anything? I lost my head. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Valo, everything is good on oh, you here. It's almost too any... good to be true. Yeah. Well, does it, how does it compare to your fortune last year, Roberta? Do you remember? I think you've got probably the best one you could have got out of it. <laughs> you need to tie that on the tree. <laughs> oh, I hate to give it up. I guess that's the whole idea, though, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, let's find a, a nice tree, and good I'll day. tie it up. Oh, you're lucky, Valerie. And we were lucky, too, to meet such a nice person. Roberta really turned out to be a very good tour guide, didn't she? Yes, she knew quite a bit about the shrine, and if we hadn't found her, I'm not sure we would have been as informed as we were, ultimately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One interesting thing that she told us was about uh, those apartments or dormitories for the gods during the so-called godless month in the rest of Japan. Yes, they were actually wooden structures which are set aside for the gods to gather at. Yeah, very, very simple thing. Well, doing all this walking around, we worked up an appetite, and we decided to have soba for lunch. Mmm. That was really good. We just, for those of you who obviously don't know, we just finished having a huge lunch. We heard that soba is the main food here in this area. And wasn't it good? Yeah, not only the soba, but also the big soba dumpling that, that they had. Right, yeah. yeah. We each had this three-tiered uh, order of soba with tempura and then the sobagaki. Oh, we can hardly sit Move. still, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I wonder what other uh, souvenirs or specialties there are um, from the Izumo region. Yeah, maybe we can ask this. Some maybe some of the people sitting here. Let's ask this gentleman over here. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, ne. えっと、He's saying that um, there are persimmons and chestnuts and other uh, fruit, so nuts, I guess, um, in the region that's south of here and also in the mountains, and that the um, sea being so near, they have a lot of delicious fish. Yes, 
季節早めて作っていくというので商品の方の価値も大変高いしもう日本中ね名前が知れているとおいしいですそれからそれを原料にした最近はワイン作りもこの地元で進めているという最近はお祭りなどもあってもう広く知られているという状態ですね The grapes here are indeed very good. They're known throughout the country for being the most delicious grapes. <coughs> Apparently, a very high quality grape. And the winery, of course, I suppose several wineries have sprung up around this grape, and they have festivals and so forth as well here. And then a charming young lady sitting nearby told us a story in English about a local mythology. Yeah, right. Long, long time ago, An、uh, old man and his wife were living in the mountainside of this area. And they had seven daughters, but they had to give each of them every year to the big snake living in this area. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. At last, they had only one daughter left.、Mm-hmm. Then, Susano no Mikoto came. To their place, and so they're crying and ask them what's the matter.、Mm-hmm. He felt so sorry, but he got a real good idea. Susano no Mikoto said, Prepare eight basins and a lot of sake because the snake has eight heads. The snake came out of the mountain <coughs> to get the daughter, <coughs> and if he found a lot of sake, In the eight basins. He loved sake very much, so he drank all sake. The Stano no Mikoto appeared and he found the big snake sleeping and he cut the snake into pieces. And then what happened, Jeff? Um, well, of course, the story had a happy ending. Oh, phew, what a relief. <laughs> yeah, you,、uh, Susano Wano Mikoto、uh, married the beautiful maiden that he had、uh. saved, and their son, according to the local legends,、uh, was Okuni Nushi no Mikoto,、mm. who is the main deity at the Grand Shrine of Izumo.、Uh-huh. So, naturally, this is a very important story for that region. And this is often the case, isn't it? Where Stories from ancient mythology do take on tremendous importance for the history of the entire region. Yeah, that's right.、Yeah. I think we'll find this again in some of the other research that we'll talk about this week is that myths and superstitions and, well, actual fact has come、yeah. to play an important part in the local customs and beliefs. Yeah, I think it's very p- much part of their life,、um, even、mm-hmm. from when they're small children.、Mm-hmm. They had,、uh, you know, some of the other people we talked to. Had、um, myths to tell, and they're proud of their region too. Yes. And the、um, ancient history,、um, I guess, that, you know, dating back to the Yayoi period or、mm-hmm. even before. They had some really special customs too. For example, the practice of bowing twice and clapping one's hands four times instead of the、mm. usual two before the deity. And Roberta explained that, didn't she? Yes.、Um, she said, I believe that it was because of the、um, deity was, had such a high position among the Shinto gods. Right, and I'm sure that that will mean that my hundred yen will go to very good effect. Ah、uh, ha ha. <laughs> well, tomorrow、uh, I'm going to present my research on Kabuki and on Okuni, Izumo no Okuni, who is said to have started this. Well, that sounds really interesting, Valerie. So, all of you, please join us tomorrow for the continuation of Valerie and Jeff on, on the, the road. road.